In 2007, my husband and I were living in Monterey, Mexico, and we became house parents in Back to Back's Hope program. We became foster parents for eight teenage boys who had grown up in children's homes. These young men had hopes of continuing their education so that one day they would be able to provide well for their families. We would have told you we were giving holistic care. These boys had physical care, a nice house to live in, good medical and dental care, spiritual care. We attended church together, had retreats and devotions. Educational care, of course. We found donors to cover the boys' high school and college fees, provided tutoring, good backpacks. Social care. They had friends at their schools and on campuses. We went out together for tacos and to movies. I would have said we were doing emotional care. Why? Well, my husband and I were nice people. We modeled respect. We had good self-control. We had healthy relationships. We were always ready and willing to talk about anything. That's emotional care, right? All of us who were house parents were realizing the same thing. Something was missing. Despite all that great care, we had kids failing school, unable to make friends, unable to be socially appropriate. The missing piece was emotional care that was intentional and trauma-informed. Research clearly tells us that children and adolescents with a trauma history don't automatically feel safe just because they're with nice people. They don't learn to have self-control just because you model it. Their brains haven't developed the capacity. After hiring a psychologist to meet with all the students individually and beginning to train staff in trauma-informed practices, deeper and more meaningful emotional care began to happen. One resource that we use is a list of ideas to help kids learn ways to regulate themselves, calm down. It might be deep breathing, pushing against a wall, chewing gum, or taking a bike ride. When kids practice how to calm down, they rewire their brains so they'll be able to do it for themselves when they need to. Remember, for kids from hard places, emotional care is more than intuitive. It must be intentional. It can be hard, but it's worth it.